Hello everyone, this is uh, just off the cuff. Um, I just received from uh, Andy Lake's Limey Yank Games um, two games in the post. Um, Empire of the Sun, which I got rid of before because um, I had it before and I played it a couple of times solo and uh, spent uh, one long, 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 long night playing it um, uh, some years ago and, and uh, played with it a bit more after. And I, I gave it up because... I love the Pacific Theatre as um, uh, for strategic operational um, decisions and so forth and explorations. But Empire of the Sun, I I was just like completely lost because of that you've got you've got the map, you've got hexes, you, you've got units, and you've got cards. I just did not know what to do, so I felt completely lost. But uh, then I was encouraged to try it again, and uh, I got this. Um, Again, but what's most interesting is this farmers versus empire. Can you see that? The light's not so good here, and I, I could put this on, but we might get oops, oops, my bulb's just blown. Um, farmers versus empire. Uh, it is by Strategimata, a Polish game company. Strategimata. Um, uh, and uh, this lo a lovely little topic, especially for a Brit like me, farmers, the Boers versus Empire. So you've got here Cecil Rhodes, he's guess, the main culprit in this, uh, as, as it were, British Prime Minister Lord Salisbury, then two flags I don't recognise, so obviously like Boer, maybe South Africa, I don't know, President Paul Kruger, President, what's that? Mathinius Steen. Okay, wonderful. Um, 1899 to 1902. And I think this is going to be a remarkable little thing because it's a small company, very nicely produced. You've got a nice, um, glossy and beautifully fit feeling box here. What you get is you get a strategic war game on the Boer War and a tactical war game on the particular battle. Um, you've got all these details here. Field Marshal Frederick Slay Roberts. Who the hell is he? Well, you soon will know, reading that. Um, General Christian Rudolf de Vett. And then here on the back, um, what have we got? We've got the Second Boer War. So that's, you, you've got cards, you see, and uh, counters. That's the point-to-point -point kind of, um, that's obviously the strategic game. And then here's the tactical game. Exciting stuff. So 32 cards, rule book, scenario card, a die. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Now I might have to use two hands and drop it. Right, here we go. It's one of those interesting boxes which you find the, the uh, companies without such vast expendables using. Um, nice, it's corrugated cardboard. That's fine. It feels sturdy. Okay, here's the counters. Here's the cards. I won't bother talking about quality cards and so forth because I'm no... Um, there's two dice. I'm no um, connoisseur and all that. More counters. Tactical war game rule book. The Battle of Magas Fontaine. 11th of 12th, 1899. Farmer versus Empire. I just love that title. It evokes so much, doesn't it? There's a surveyor. So this is copyright 2015 Strategy Matter and Zwofemir Lukasek. Sorry, but the pronunciation. Um, Polish fellow, no doubt. Uh, here's the strategic war game rule book. So, uh, sorry, the other one's 16 pages long, include, including page for literature and the contents. This one's only nine pages long for the strategic war game. That sounds sweet, doesn't it? And that is copyright Christoph Dijkschak. <laughs> you can read the name and pronounce it in your head however you like. Um, so
so exciting stuff. Trade effects charts for the tactical game, historical scenarios for the tactical game, initial setup, optional scenario, initial setup. We've obviously got this here, I guess, is for, I don't know, but maybe you have command diagrams, they call them. That's interesting. And you've got a hexagon with a 1, 2, 3, 5, 6 on it. Battle of, oh, so there's two of those. That's one for each player. For the tactical. And here, also for the battle, melee, British melee attack sequence. Um, melee combat modifiers chart. And some historical notes on cannons and howitzers, Mausers and Lee Enfields. Okay, and then I guess this one is oh British melee attack sequence as well. Does that mean that the Boers do not melee attack? I don't know. You've got artillery fire chart, artillery fire modifiers, infantry and cavalry fire, um a mandatory retreat chart. Okay. So, oh yeah. um, here's the map. Let me unwrap that without destroying it. One handed. Oh, that's nice. It's very clear. It's um. This is the tactical map. Magas Fontaine. Um. You've got turn track, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So about uh, 14 turns, British victory track, an observation balloon. And I don't normally not like um, computer built graphics, but this is very clean and clear. I like it, it's kind of sweet. Um, Okay, every hex is numbered, but uh, very clearly. And then, as you can see, it's mostly clear terrain. We've got a bit of marsh or something there. Okay, that's okay. You cannot sniff when people don't have the money to pay proper artist <coughs> to draw their maps, because I can imagine that's really expensive. It's great that, you know, anybody can make a map with the computer graphics thing. So, Farmer versus Empire, the Second World War. The farmers on the hill. There we go. So we've got Mafia King of Harrisburg. Valvata. Oh, look, there's a place called Belfast. Durban. Port Elizabeth. So, um, all of this is British controlled at the start by the looks of it. And then here. Dutch Boer controlled, I guess. And looks so British reinforcements. You've got events, turn track, four turns. I don't know how that works. Um, so maybe it's like operations, you know, with cards and so forth. And then here you've got a battlefield. So there's obviously you've got centre, left wing, right wing. So and uh, oh beautifully on the other side. Link, I'm trying to read this up so down. Link of Lulu, Centrum, Rigged and Lulu. So that's obviously the uh, Bauer, uh, left centre, right wing. Um, so that's obviously kind of like an abstract tactical combat model for this game. And here, British Prestige track and Boa Funds track. So maybe you're tracking the Bower funds the ability to continue the fight against the British prestige where the too many they lose too much face dun, dun, dun. and here finally tactical war game scenario book okay so it's very beautifully produced um I mean very professionally done. Let's have a quick look. The British player chooses an operation for victory if at any time during the game British students occupy a hex of blood. The game is at the end of the turn where the British player is victory to the British. Now that English is proper English, so whoever translated this, or maybe they actually wrote it, maybe the designer wrote it in English as well. Um, it's, it looks perfect, not like some that I could mention. Um, 
Okay, wonderful. That is it. Farmers versus Empire.